From the beginning of the full-scale invasion, Vassil Doros spent two months with his family in the occupation in Ivankiv, Kiev region. After the liberation of the village, he went to the front. He served for several months and got multiple shrapnel wounds in his back, and he could not walk for a long time. There was cluster fire in our direction. They were retreating, and as they were retreating, they were shooting everything they had. There were phosphorus and cluster munitions flying towards us. Now he can hardly move around on crutches, but he does. These are the results of the long rehabilitation. Step by step, day by day, he had to learn to live again. The doctors didn't give me much of a chance. The rehabilitation therapist said, we'll get me back on my feet. I came to this center on a wheelchair. My wheelchair is somewhere here. I will not even take it away. This recovery became possible in the rehabilitation department of the second hospital in Bila Tsarkva. It is designed for 24 patients and the rehabilitation teams works here. Exactly such specialists will be trained under a special program with the participation of professionals of the World Health Organization. The International Classification of Functioning is an initiative of the First Lady of Ukraine, Olena Zelenska. I want to thank everyone that finally this step, this procession of the ICF in Ukraine has started. I would like to thank all our medical professionals. I have gratitude and respect for your profession. If you remember the COVID lockdowns and then the war, it is clear that you have been working under extreme strain for years and hold the most important front on your shoulders. You save lives and keep our people healthy. You know very well that now many military personnel are even returning to the front with bionic and mechanized prosthesis. There are many civilians now recovering in the rear, both uh, children and adults who have been traumatized by war. At the same time, the disabilities have not disappeared. The war adds up to a very difficult experience. Olena Zelenska visited a hospital in Bila Tsarkva and attended the presentation of an online course, which in the coming month will train more than 2,000 specialists for 244 institutions, which will allow for more effective care for people with severe diagnosis. They are located throughout Ukraine. For example, the largest number of such institutions is in the Dnipropetrovsk region, then in Kyiv. The territory of Ukraine is more or less covered equally. The international classification of functioning is supported by Switzerland and the European Union. People with different diagnoses can get help. In some cases, rehabilitation begins directly in the intensive care unit. In Ukraine, we have launched a change in approaches to rehabilitation as well as to the system of determining disability in general. And now our task is to remove medical and social expert commissions and use innovative WHO methods, which have resulted in the international classification of functioning, to start assessing a person's loss of function to make an individual rehabilitation plan. It is expected that after taking an online course, rehabilitation therapists will be able to provide almost 3 million sessions of medical care per year. According to the Minister of Health, there used to be a shortage of rehabilitation specialists, but he promised that this situation would change after salaries were raised. Reported by Roman Smoller, Victoria Smirnova, UA TV News.